Hello everybody, what's good? It's me, Michael Lever Jr. again coming at you from Tenerife and today we are beachside, La Vista's Beach, which is sort of between Las Americas, sort of soul sweet end, Safari Center end and, uh, and Los Cristianos. Just sat outside uh, the Players Lounge, some of you may know that. Just uh, catching up with you really and having a quick chat today about uh, a couple of subjects. So you may have read that we have changed levels here and gone to level two, Tenerife. Um, initially we were level one. Uh, the government brought in the initiative to maybe consider um, COVID passes. Um, the European Supreme Court of Justice said that the data in the Canaries didn't really warrant the use of COVID parties. So uh, miraculously overnight, there were 505 new cases. So they're just on the day of their uh, review. So uh, on the day of the review, they decided they would bring COVID passes in, meaning that bars and restaurants wouldn't have to limit their capacity if they voluntarily had the COVID passes. But then of course, plunged us the same night at midnight into level two, meaning that a lot of bars now have no option but to accept COVID passes in order to go back down to level one. So the subject today for me is uh, how does that, two things, how does that change? How does level two change uh, the restrictions and stuff? Level two means reduced opening hours. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on all the details, but from what I understand, I believe nightclubs uh, are still open till four, but bars and venues that the like I sing in, I believe they have to shut at two o'clock now. I think they used to be open till three, but a lot of places that I work in, for example, the Soul Suite and different bars, you're only open till about one or two anyway. So I don't really think that changes much. Uh, capacity, I believe has gone down and you're now allowed 50% inside and 75% outside, um, unless people opt in for the COVID passes, the COVID certificates. If they show that, all it means is that bars that are at 50% inside can increase it to 100% with fully vaccinated people. So the question is, what do we think about that? Do we have an objection to the fact that it was billed as voluntary, but you're not really giving business owners any choice but to go over to it? The next issue, the next question I have is somebody like me, as lots of you regular watchers know, you know for medical reasons I'm not, the vaccine is not available to me. So if we get in a position where workers, entertainers such as me, I'm not allowed in the premises being unvaccinated, that would fundamentally stop me from working and earning, uh, earning a living for my, my family and feeding my children, which of course is something I'm very nervous and anxious about. So. Um, do you think that breaches my human rights? Do you think that's uh, against my right as a person? Uh, I know people are going to about say about medical exemptions that have not seen this before, but a lot of you will know that I've tried to get a medical exemption here to know vow it's not really recognised here. Um, there's no such thing, no such document, certainly not recognised anyway. So I'm in a position now where I'm concerned about what happens if only vaccinated people can go inside the premises. So I'm, we're not really sure at the moment. I've heard that uh, workers, as far as staff, bar staff, waiting staff, you know, table servers, I've heard that they can go in unvaxxed, uh, excuse my fingers, uh, I know the camera's shaking about it, I've heard that they can go in unvaxxed, but they may need a test every day before their shift at their own cost, which I believe is around 35 euros. So I don't imagine many bar staff are going to be able to uh, pay 35 euros for the pleasure of going to work and I don't imagine many business owners are going to be paying that out for their staff. So it's a bit of a quandary, the world's in a funny state. Um, how are you feeling, people in the UK, how are you feeling about the, the new restrictions there? Going up to alert level four, I believe. Um, Boris calling for boosters. Um, before the end of the year, otherwise sort of the underlying threat of a lockdown in January. Uh, a lot of friends and family of mine in the UK are saying that they've had their two jabs and some of them had their boosters, but a lot of people feel like they won't have, won't be having any more, um, like it's an endless cycle. Um, so any questions you guys have got, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know if there's anything else specifically I can tell you about. At the moment, we're on level two. That will remain all over the Christmas period uh, and then they'll have their meeting again and they'll discuss uh, what they'll do. I believe you're allowed eight 
in your household at the moment. So uh, with six of us, we're still about to have my, my, my father over for Christmas Day, which, which was a worry for us. Um, so yeah, yeah, not sure how things are going to pan out. I believe it's going to be a bit difficult. I believe we've got a bumpy road ahead and um, there's no real end in sight at the moment. But let me know again on the, on the, on the comments um, if there's anything you'd like to talk about in particular, if you'd like to know any specific rules that I've, I've not looked into and I'll look into it for you, how you feel about COVID passes, um, how you feel about mandatory vaccinations, how you feel about you know, business owners being put in a position where uh, they've got no choice but to implement it in order to try and get uh, some more capacity and, and make some money. Uh, so let me know what you think, guys. And uh, give me any other suggestions for videos or content you'd like to know about. I'm thinking about going to do some more restaurant reviews. Um, lots of great comments a couple of months ago about when my dad and I went and found pie, mash and liquor and reviewed it. So let me know what you want to see or any bars or any restaurants you'd like me to go and uh, give you a sneak peek at. Just, just give you a quick look at La Vista's Beach, Playa de La Vista's. Not far from sunset here, pretty quiet today. Not many people about. And uh, I've been and had some lunch with my two youngest babies. So I'm gonna go home in a second and uh, get ready for work. But for now, thank you so much. Make sure you comment, because it's your interaction that helps the channel grow and it gives me ideas of uh, content to talk about. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, thank you as always for the support everybody. Um, I'm going to be sticking up a few more videos singing and stuff, try and do a live show or a few odd songs here and there. Let me know what you'd like to hear and uh, I, shall, uh, I shall see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. And for all you Soul Sweet regulars, there's a familiar face I've bumped into today. How we doing? How we doing? Michael wants to say hello to you. I'm getting a lot of comments about how much you're missing. He's, he's still drinking, he's still on a Magnus. I'm going to celebrate, celebrate with you. What? what, what celebrate with you. Celebrate with you. Celebrate with What are we celebrating? Your mummy came over there. Ah, oh, Michael's mum. There's June. There you go. So Michael's mummy came over to see him to spend a bit of time with him. It's only my first drink and I'm slowing my wine. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry. Um, so are you missing all the, all the regulars from Soul Sweet? Oh, of course. I'm missing them all. I'm missing the music. I'm missing everything that goes with it. You know, like family. Obviously, you know what I mean? I'm just moving on. And, different things just to change it up but you know I'll always have that place in my head and everybody that goes there I do miss the music and I do miss everybody that comes here you know I'll visit I'll visit I'll yeah course. you'll come and see you I'll have so a few little chandies you know it. with the tin that's it you know? so many people giving comments when they you know when they come to watch the shows that they're missing you and you're a credit to the place so I, I miss the place and I miss all the staff I still there I miss them as well and I, and I'll go back and I'll have a few little shandies. Uh, you'll see him again soon. We'll all be reunited soon, Soul Sweet family. So, from Michael Fay and myself, we'll see you again soon. Ciao for now. Strike the pose. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cat drop, cat drop. <laughs>